everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to today's workout. Today's workout is a fast and fun, functional workout utilizing one hand weight. All right, so we're gonna do some unilateral work um, with our hand weight. So a little bit of strength, a little bit of cardio at the end, um, some abs, all done in one short little workout. All right, so let's get started with a quick warm up. All I'm gonna be using is a 10 pound weight and a 12 pound weight, all right? So we're gonna sink into a squat, front raise. Good, so roll those shoulders back, sit back into those heels, core is engaged, good. Nice and easy, sit back and stand. And breathe, inhale, exhale, perfect. You've got eight more, seven. I like to think of my thumbs coming to the sky, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna sink into a side lunge. We're gonna row back, and then you're just gonna press overhead. All right, so a side lunge, row, press lunge, good. Side lunge, row, press, perfect. Down and up, big stretch, down, perfect. We're doing two more, we're gonna to switch to the other side. Good, one more. Nice, switching sides. Row, pull, press. Down. Remember that side lunge is always, each one leg is trailing, one leg uh, is staying straight. Inhale, breathe, press. Three more. Two. Last one right here. Awesome work. Okay, I'm just gonna go into a little jack and press here. Switch it up, press it up. Nice, press, 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 keep going. Breathe nice and long. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, we're just gonna tap, fly out those arms, tap out those legs to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're just gonna pivot and press right here overhead. Out, lift, lift, press, nice. Good work, up, up, reach it up. Nice work, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're just gonna go into some little ski hops. Little side to side curl here. Nice work, bend those knees. Good work, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, meet me on the floor for our last one. I'm just gonna come into a plank position, full plank position. I want you to thread your arm underneath, then I want you to rotate to the side. Good. We're just going to do five each side and rotate. So if you need to drop this bottom knee, go for it. Last one here. Perfect. Let's switch sides. Reach under, row up, reach under, row up. Three more. Good. Two more. One more, row it up, sit back, child pose, big stretch, inhale, exhale, nice job, come on up, let's just go into a couple of shoulder rolls, and let's take those forward, big stretch in those arms, and release, all right, come up to a standing position, if you need some water, grab it, all right, so what we've got here is I've got about four exercises, we're going to do about 30 seconds of work, we're gonna repeat them one time, and then we're gonna move on. So it's gonna be really fast. We've got three blocks of exercises, and we're gonna end with a little cardio sequence, and you're done. All right, so I'm gonna grab my lighter hand weight here. It's my 15, uh, 10 pounder. So we're gonna do a squat raise. So we're gonna sit back into the shoulder, shoulder rolls back, abs are in. We're gonna sit back into a squat as we raise that weight. So it's a little counterbalance here. All right, so you're gonna to need to go a little bit lighter in your weight. So you got 30 seconds starting now. Sit back and raise. 
So you want to make sure that those shoulders are down away from your ears. Good. Nice work. Sit back and reach. Not the easiest version if you have a heavy weight here. So my 10 pounder is perfect for this right now. Nice lift and lower working through those delts, your abs and those legs. Nice work. You got three more. Here's two. Good. Here's your last one right there. Nice. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to go a little bit heavier in my weight. We'll go to a 12 pounder here. We're going to come into a side lunge. You're going to give me one row as you balance, and then you're going to press overhead. All right. So it's a row in motion with a balance. All right. So we're going to do 30 seconds, right leg, 30 seconds left. Here we go. Lunge in, row it, press overhead. You got it. Lunge in, balance row. Good. So you're snapping that leg right in right here. Yes. Good. Sink it in, up, down. So unilateral work is so important because one side of our body always is a little stronger. And when we work it independently like this, it forces that weak side to get a little stronger. And this is your last one. All right. Switching sides. Here we go. Lunge in, row, so I want you to pay attention to the different sides. Does it seem easier? Is it a little harder? Is your balance a little more compromised? Does the weight feel a little heavy? All right, so really kind of make those changes or make those um, distinctions so you know what feels weaker on your body. So your goal is to get those weak sides as strong as the strong side so you have more symmetry in your body. You have one more right here. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, now you're gonna make me on the floor. We're gonna come into a plank row and rotate. So we're gonna alternate sides here. So it's only 30 seconds. So you're gonna have the weight in the middle here. You're gonna row in, you're gonna press it up overhead as you rotate that body, bring it center, and then you're gonna switch and go to the other side. All right, here we go for 30 seconds. Row it in, press it up, and bring that weight down and switch sides. Good, row it up, rotate, press, nice. Row, so this is a nice functional core exercise working through that plank, awesome. Nice, so nice strong row as you're twisting that body up and down. You can modify this if you need to. Good, we're gonna do one more each side. Good job, let's switch sides right here. Up, and nice work. Go ahead and give yourself a little stretch. We are moving on, and we're gonna start that all the way from the top. All right, grab your weight, grab an inhale, our squat raise, roll those shoulders back. Here we go, sit back. So 30 seconds. So think about keeping those abs in. So as you reach forward, sitting back, so we call these counterbalances. So your arms are coming forward to counterbalance you. Good, sink it back, you're halfway through. Nice, good, abs in, relax those shoulders. Perfect, nice work. These are your last three, two more. And here's your last one, ah, woo. All right, starting my right hand to my left, we're gonna go with that side lunge. Uh, balance press, here we go. Side lunge, row it in, press it up. Whoop, I'm gonna switch my weights. All right, this one's a little light. Pull it in, press, good. So if you're not feeling challenged here, up your weight if you can. So your goal here is to feel a little instability as you pull that leg up and balance. So the more unstable your body is with good form, the more you're rocking that core. Good work. Let's do two more. And last one here. Good job. Switching sides. Same thing, other side. Here we go. Lunge in, row it, press it. Excellent. Row, press. Good, drive that weight back as you pull that knee in. 
Up. Good, nice and dynamic, guys. You are about halfway now. Keep going. Good work. 30 seconds goes by fast. Good work, guys. Come on, keep strong. Challenge yourself here. Yikes, here comes the last two. Up. One more right here. Yes. Beautiful. All right, we're going into those uh, row and side rotations. Okay, I go a little bit lighter on my weight here. All right, weight. Arms are a uh, straight line. Abs are in. Get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Row it in and rotate. So as you row, you're turning your body, giving me that nice strong rotation so the hip is rotating towards the sky. Good work. Working those shoulders like crazy. Your core stabilizers, your abs. Good. Up and around. Nice functional. So this will be the last time you see this exercise. So stay with me. Nice. Up. Beautiful. We have got one more each side and you will be done. Stay with it. Come on. You got it. Last one here. And nice job. Go ahead and stretch, sit back. Grab an inhale. Grab those hands behind you, squeeze those shoulder blades. Let's come up, grab some water. We're gonna go into our second uh, block of exercises. So it will roll the same way. You'll have four exercises. You'll repeat them one more time. All right, so I want you to grab me a medium heavy weight. So I'm gonna go with my 12 pounder on this one. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna curl up, and as I curl up, I'm gonna press alternating sides. All right, so it's just a curl with a pivot rotation press. All right, 30 seconds in three, two, one. Straight down, curl, rotate, press. Now the other side, perfect, down and up. Straight down, curl, press. Up and press. Good, make it a nice, easy flow as you're rotating up and down. Perfect. Weight down, curl it in, press it overhead. Good job. Down and up. Awesome. One more each way. Let's go right here. Curl it up and press one more. And down. Awesome. All right, now I'm going to keep my 12 pounder here. We're going to do a bicep curl skater, and then you're gonna give me a hammer curl lunge. All right, all work done on one side, then we switch. All right, palm forward for the skater, a hammer curl for the lunge in three, two, one. Squat curl or lunge curl, hammer. Bicep, elbow glued into your rib cage. Beautiful. Skater, bend that back knee, hammer curl it in. So we're doing a double whammy bicep here with a double whammy leg. You got it. Good. Nice work. Let's do one more round of each and lunge switch. All right, same exact thing. Hammer curl skater, I'm sorry, bicep curl skater, hammer curl lunge, let's go. Curl and Straight down, watch your form here. Lunge. Beautiful. So you should be able to handle a substantial weight here. Nice. Good. So if I was doing this for a really heavy duty workout, I would probably grab a 15 pounder. So if you want to intensify this, don't let me stop you. Good job, we're gonna do one more each way right here. Nice and hammer. All right, so now we've got one more exercise and this is a one, we're gonna swing with one arm. So to get us started, you're gonna come up, you're gonna tricep extend, then you're gonna come down, the other hand's gonna meet you and you're gonna switch sides. So as you come down, this hand is waiting in the wings to take that weight down as you transfer. All right, so we can start here with both hands, you're tossing into one, here we go. Down, up, right hand, up, good, now meet it, transfer hands, help, 
Good. Bring it down, transfer hands. Up. Beautiful. Just bringing it to the back end of that shoulder, working that tricep. Good work. Come on, 10 seconds. Nice work. Nice job, guys. Let's do one more each way, and then we take it from the top. Good job. Nice work. All right. All right, grab that weight. We're gonna go into those squat curl rotating presses. Here we go. Straight down, curl and press. So it's simultaneous here, up and press. Pick up that pace and rotate. Pick up that heel, you got it. Good, down and up. Press, pivot, down low. So a nice functioning torso press. Each time, bicep, shoulder, back, abs, torso, good. Nice, let's do one more each way. Down, up, curl and press. One more, down, up, curl and press. Beautiful. All right, we're going into those bicep curl skaters. Hammer curl in three, two, one. Curl and curl. Remember, switch your palm forward, now palm inward. No swinging with those arms. Focusing on that lunge too. Driving that knee back. Nice, you're halfway. Awesome. Nice work, guys. Perfect job. We will have one more after this, all the way through we switch. And switch it out, good. Shake out that arm. Here we go. Skate and curl. Nice, just focusing on each independent side. Good job. Now, if you wanted to switch this up, and add an extra weight here and make this double, you could. So get out of your comfort zone, get out of that box. Don't always take my word for things. You can always make things more challenging. Good job, nice work. But it is nice to just focus on one side at a time. One more each side, up and down. All right, we're going into that single arm, a swing hand. Tricep alternating at the bottom. Here we go. Straight up. So you really got to control that weight at the top. Good. Switch it out. Try to keep that elbow super close to your ear right there. Yeah. Awesome. So we will have one more round of single arm strength. This time, the next round is gonna be all on the floor on our back. So we're gonna work some abs. And a little upper body at the same time. Nice work, here comes last two. And one right there. Nice job. All right, so you're gonna meet me on the floor. And you're gonna probably wanna go with a little bit lighter of a weight here. All right. So we've got four exercises, we're gonna do the exact same way, 30 seconds of each. So our first is going to be a fly and transfer. So we're gonna come out to the side, our arm is gonna be bent, legs are bent. We're gonna fly up, so the weight's gonna be kind of over my belly button, and then I'm going to transfer it to the other side, carefully and slow. All right, here we go. Bring it up. So I'm not bringing the weight all the way overhead, and I'm not sitting up all the way. I'm kind of keeping a nice, Concentration in my core, transferring weight to the other side. Hup, nice. So you don't want too heavy of a weight here because it's gonna really bog you down. It's gonna really hinge or hinder your fly. You got 10 seconds. This is slow and steady, wins the race. Good, using your entire ab to lift you up. Good, we're gonna do two more here. Hup. Here's one more right here. Hup. Awesome work and down. Now, we're going to go into a flutter kick here. So we're gonna bring the legs up. 
Arm is going to be out to the side, and you're going to flutter kick. And every so often, we're going to transfer the weight. All right? If that is too intense, you can get rid of the weight and just put your hands behind your head and flutter that way. All right? Because sometimes people have issues with their neck, and it bothers them. So if that does happen, get rid of the weight, bring your hands behind your head to support your neck, and then just do the flutter kicks. Okay? All right, so shoulders off, legs are up, weight in your side. Here we go, flutter it out. So I'm giving myself a nice slight point in my toes. My legs are a little lower to the floor. Now push that weight to the other side. So notice what happens when you transfer that weight. All right, you feel an ab shift, right? Go, transfer it out, good. Beautiful, again. Nice work. Now we're gonna take this faster for the last 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, Seven, keep those feet going. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Woo, all right, coming up to a full sit up or seated position. Bring your feet out into a straddle, bring your weight onto one side. All right, so we're going to come into a rainbow, and as we rainbow, we're going to lift that leg up, and then we're going to do the other side and lift that leg up as we lift over. All right, so here we go. Uh, bring it up, raise, switch. Now you're sitting up super tall. Up, up, 30 seconds. Rainbow right, rainbow left. The leg of the side you're on is lifting slightly off the floor. Try not to lean too far back. Up. Good, so working through those hip flexors. Up. Lots of core here. 10 seconds to go, up, nice work, last four, three, two, and one, oh, felt those legs, here's our last one, we do one more time, all right, so you're going to slight bend in those knees, you're going to hold your weight in front of you, you're going to roll down as far as you can go, pull the belly in, roll back up. I don't want you to come all the way to a seated position. I want you to keep that nice C curve going on in your abs. All right, so get a nice little C curve here. Pull the belly in, roll those shoulders back, roll down, roll up. Again, remember, keeping that C curve right here, scooped in that belly, shoulders back, so roll and up. Just a little bit of a stretch down, oh yeah. Good job. Can you go just a little bit more? You do not want those shoulder blades touching the floor. Come on, remember, you're not coming all the way up. Good, keep that little slight C curve going here. You got about 10 seconds. Good, roll it down, roll it up. Mm, one more right here. Oh, let's go into a quick hug. And we're gonna do that one more time all the way through. And then we're gonna pop our body up and finish with a little cardio blast. All right, sound good? Here we go. Arm out, transfer out. So remember this weight is right over your belly. So I don't want it over your head, right over in front of you. Up, so we're working through that chest here. Up, yeah. Watch that neck, use your abs. Control and focus. Awesome. Good job. You've got two more after this one. One more. Up and down. Ah. Oh. All right, so we're gonna go into that flutter kick with that ab toss, all right? So we're gonna start off slow and then pick up the pace towards the end. The hard part is to keep those legs fluttering. All right, here we go, flutter out, point the toes. Good, toss the weight. Pull the belly in, rock hard, yes, toss the weight. The further you can bring that weight from your body, the harder this becomes. Toss that weight. Woo, nice work, toss that weight. Now pick up the toss, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep those feet going, five, four, three, two, one, oh, oh, pull your body up, all right, so this one, we're not going to lift the legs up, we're just going to stay seated.
seated nice and tall, and we're gonna try to pick up the pace here. All right, no leg lifts here. Here we go. Side, up, side, up, side. <sighs> big. So I want you, each time I want you to look over your back shoulder. I want you to get a really big stretch. <sighs> look, and rotate, good. Come on, Ugh. pick it up, you got 15 seconds. Over. Good, really rotate. Can you get the weight just a little bit further back behind your hip? Last four, three, two, yikes, and one. All right, your last move is going to be that roll down, okay? Slight bend in your knees, scoop the belly so you're making a nice C curve, roll the shoulders back. Here we go, roll it down and roll it up. Do not collapse through those shoulders, holding that weight nice and light and up, focusing all on those abs, roll down and roll up, yeah, awesome, can you get slightly back further, oh, yeah, baby, a little isometric at the bottom part here, oh, pull it up, last four, three, Two, last and final here, and one. Oh boy, give yourself a nice little round here. Bring those hands out. Perfect job, grab a stretch behind you. Okay, pop it up my friends. We are going into a five minute cardio blast. We stretch, we're done. All right, so you will need one lighter hand weight here. All right, so this is going to be 50 seconds of work. Five different exercises, one time through. Just a little blast, just to get that heart rate, just to burn a little extra something, something. All right, one minute, or 50 seconds, I should say. 10 seconds to transition. Your first exercise is going to be a jack and press. So we're just gonna simply press up and down. All right, you need to modify, you modify. If you don't wanna lift, you just hold it. Oops. Here we go. Out. Nice and soft on the, on the balls of your feet. Jack it out and in. Pace yourself. Nice work, out and in. It's a one and done. I know you love one and dones. This is a fast and quick, just efficient little workout. Not my normal type of workout, is it? Usually my workouts are a little over, a little sweaty, a little intense. Today is nice because not too over the top. It's really suitable for just about every level. 14 seconds. Good. We know that we don't always need that high intensity. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, so now we're just gonna hold one end. You're just gonna simply pivot to the left, pivot to the right. All right, holding that one end. Here we go. So if you're noticing your heart rate is higher than you want it to be, get rid of your weight. Make the move smaller. Twist it around, keep those elbows in. Now for those of you who want to say, hey, you know, I want to work harder. Pull your arms away from your body. All right, pull your arms away from your body. All right, now staying inward. Good. Really rotating through that torso, 21 seconds. Shoulders back. Nice, beautiful, come on, twist it out. 12 seconds, keep going. Head up, nice, breathe, and you are done. Now, we're gonna ski hop here. We're gonna toss the weight side to side. All right, so this is gonna get kind of crazy with those ski hops, all right? Right, left, right, left. Soften your knees. We're gonna really work those quads, your calves, your heart, your abs. Twist. Now give yourself a nice twist here. Little ski hops now, twisting those heels back, side. We're shushing down the hill, yeah? Back to side to side. Come on. 
Beautiful, back to those ski rotations. Hip, twist, yeah. Landing soft, working through the quads. Come on, nice work here. Woo. All right, we're gonna go into a three count squat drop. So you're gonna go right, you're gonna go left, you're gonna pulse for two. All right, here we go. One, two, pulse, two. One, two, pulse, two. Get low, let the weight pull you down. One, two. Down, two. Ha, ha. Work those inner thighs, guys, yes. Whoo. Down, two. Now you're glad we're not repeating this, right? Come on, feel it, head up. Let that weight pull you, come on now. Drop it. Yeah, 14 seconds. Oh, inner thighs are whoo, out. Nice work. Three, two, one. Hold it out. Oh. All right. All right, so we're going to go into some in and out feet. When I tell you to, we're going to go into fast feet. Nice work, fast feet. Oh. Nice. Going back to your in and out feet in three, two, one, in and out. Quick, 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 quick. Fast feet, pick it up. Yeah. Come on, in and out. Uh, how you doing? Get ready, fast feet. Fast you can go. Ten, nine, eight, faster. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you did it. Did you feel the calves, heart, legs? Yeah? Woo! All right, let's go into some calf scoops. So take it down. Heel down. So go forward. Ah. Just enough to know you're alive, right? Come on, up and around. Perfect, sink it up. Breathe, nice work. We're gonna do one more each way. Good job. All right, let's just grab that foot. Now grab it into the opposite hand, drive it across that back booty and hold. Nice job. Breathe in and out. Ah, and release it out, here we go. Pull it back and then cross it over. Take it into that opposite hand. Nice job. Just sink it back side to side, just slow hip backs. Just drive it back. Good little fold in that forward body for four, for three, for two, and one, coming back up. Good, just hug those knees, point your toe, flex. Again, hug, point that knee, flex. One more time. One more time. Arm circles. Let's go into a big reverse in those arm circles. Perfect job. Let's grab both arms overhead, pull the elbows back. Ah, and let's go into one ginormous inhale up. Come into your heart center, you guys. You did your one weight functional fitness. All done, little cardio and you're done. Good abs. Hope you guys make it a great day. I will see you on our next workout. Take care, everybody. Bye.